Hi everyone and welcome back to another Work No Game video. Today's video is dedicated to Atelier Online Alchemist of Bressier. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. This is going to be my first impressions for the game. And one of the first things that I want to show you is my party and show you how you can customize your characters. So this is going to be Sorrel. She's one of the free characters that you can get within the story. And this is going to be my main character. This is how you like add like certain characters within the party and stuff. But as you can see, Sorrel is just wearing like this plain brown t-shirt. She looks kind of homeless. She doesn't look like a grill. So let's go ahead and change that up let's make her into a waifu so if you go into synthesis right here you go into gear i was actually able to collect enough of the pieces in order to craft like this alchemist like dress right here or this alchemist suit of the academy so right here we're going to hit synthesize and what's going to happen is i'm actually going to craft this piece of gear now the super cool thing is my alchemy level actually went up and now we actually have like some informational bits. We get like a little bit of a side quest completed right there. And you can go ahead and jump back, go back into your party. Let's go ahead and change out our gear and make Sorel look like an actual waifu. Beautiful. This is what I want to see. And this is one of my favorite parts about Atelier Online Alchemist of Bressier. Now, the reason being, if you're wondering how was I able to actually get that like recipe, this is actually built into like the actual game. So you get this recipe absolutely for free. But some of these items, so for example, the Shield of Guards, I was actually able to obtain this via the gotcha. And now I have the recipe. And if you're wondering, I can actually recraft like that shield in particular and make it into a better shield. So one of the cool things is like going here into like the actual gotcha, getting like some of the, like the weapons and stuff and then recreating them in order to be functional and much better weapons. But just know it's just for extra stats and it's not really required, all right? So that's gonna be some extra information right there about crafting gear and stuff. Let's go ahead and jump into the actual gameplay so I can show you what this game is all about. So right here, we are essentially exploring and this is loading up the map. And one of my favorite parts about like Atelier Online is it's essentially an open world and you pretty much just walk around and you can, you know, fight enemies. It's sort of like Final Fantasy style, except you can actually see the enemies. And as you can see here with the gameplay, it is like an auto RPG. Now, some of you might be wondering what's the point of playing an auto RPG. The reason being is you min max like the gear in order for your characters to deal like the highest damage. And obviously you can like craft gear, you can make your gear better from the gotcha. You can essentially min max yourself to the highest degree because you can also craft weapons or craft items that deal damage. So one of the things I wanna showcase is the quest system. And what's really cool is there's a lot of side quests and this side quest in particular will actually grant you a free character. If you're wondering, this is how I actually got Sorel for free because I was able to complete this key quest, this key side quest, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and confirm. We're gonna abandon our other quest. And now we are actually going to talk to Anise. I believe she is in the academy. So let's go ahead and go back and we will be completing this quest in order to get a free character. So it's just like these small things like with the immersion, there's like voice acting for this game and everything. So we're gonna talk to Sorel right here. She's gonna be doing like the quests and stuff. And I like how like the characters sort of like call out your name. Well, it's not like specifically your name. They reference you in some way. So we completed that quest right there. We're going to go ahead and accept the other quest. What's going to happen is we're going to go ahead and explore and we're going to go to the river in order to complete the rest of the quest. It even shows you a marker of where you need to go. So it's pretty straightforward on how to complete the quest. There's no real room for confusion. And the best part about Atelier Online is it sort of introduces you to the Atelier series. In case you ever wondered, you know, what's this game like, what it's all about. And right here, we're going to investigate like the quest marker and then we're going to jump into the actual quest. All right. So usually what happens is we're probably going to fight a monster. We're going to go ahead and skip the dialogue. I recommend reading the dialogue because it's pretty cutesy if you're into like that sort of thing and the next quest is going to be beat up a purple puny in order to get a niece into our party so we're gonna go ahead and accept that and you can see the purple puny is right there we're gonna fight this dude he is weak to wind which is pretty cool and what's going to happen is we're gonna go ahead and set it to two times speed this is absolutely for free so you can play the game in two times speed and if you're wondering why my characters are so powerful i leveled them up and stuff and i put like the gotcha gear on them so of course they're going to be a little bit stronger we'll talk about like the gotcha and other stuff as we move forward with this game but i really want to cover how to just get free characters so we're going to go ahead and skip the story and what's really nice is all of the story characters they can be max leveled so you don't have to worry about getting dupes because all of the gotcha characters you have to get dupes for 
course. There we go, we got Anis Hisop. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but now we can essentially add her to your party. So if you go here into the party, you jump here into party, and then we will be able to put her there, I think. You cannot change party members in the field. Let's go ahead and go back into the academy right here. What's really important is also you go into the academy in order to heal yourself. Never like go into the inns because some of the inns actually charge you money to heal up your characters. So just go back to like the academy, it's really easy. So there we go, we have Anise within our party and we can go ahead and gear her up, change her gear right here and then auto load some stuff for her. And this will be her main gear and you hit confirm and now she looks a little bit better. But honestly, like my biggest thing is like just getting them out of like these brown shirts. So I'm gonna be focusing on synthesis, on gear, and then crafting them some actual armor so that they don't look homeless. So let's go ahead and craft like this silk apparel. Go ahead and synthesize right here. So this is going to be a two star like piece of clothing versus the one star. And let's go ahead and jump back and see like it has like enhanced stats because we crafted it and whatnot. So, you know, if you craft more gear, you get like mastery points, which I think is pretty neat overall. It's just like one of those things where, you know, you craft gear in games and it doesn't really focus on it but in atelier they definitely let you know when you're crafting gear because it is like all about crafting it's an alchemy game right so we're gonna hit change gear right here again and yes thank you oh she looks way better in this outfit than this so that is going to be like some quick customization for your characters so they look much better wait hold up okay she's actually wearing like you know the gear what's really nice is your characters like actually change the way they look and that's like those small things let's talk about like the actual gotcha for this game some of you might be wondering what are the rates like so this is going to be the tutori banner she's one of the best supports in the entire game in case you're wondering just note that characters are essentially vanity they do have like extra skills but you know characters in like atelier online they're more of if you want to use them then you can it's not really a requirement so you're seeing like this 0.8 percent some of you are wondering wow that's really low just note for characters in general it's a two percent rate that's how like these things sort of work for five star gear i believe like this is like three percent or five percent something like that it's definitely higher than two percent but it's just those things to take into account for gotcha if you're wondering what do i recommend to roll for well tutorial banner is really good if you want like a character and you want like one of the best supports in the game if you want like more weapons which i highly recommend this weapon gotcha is pretty good but i recommend going for the kole gotcha because specifically if you jump into the gotcha list either grants you a pretty decent piece of gear or you can get a character. So 10 gotcha guarantees a four star above gear or a character. So I feel like this is a decent one. It's like the main banner that everyone can pull on. But honestly, it's not bad. Some of the characters are pretty fun. Let's go ahead and jump into the Google spreadsheets that I created for this game. And this is going to give you like the app media links to show you like what are the best characters to reroll for. And I have some beginner tips in case you're wondering like what are the things that you need to focus on. I pretty much covered it. Like it's best to reroll for something like the guard shield because it has like the defense down we'll look at it later and then it's like cool to look out for weapons that have like these abilities that can attack all enemies and note that there is like a community like sort of atelier online post and this is going to be telling you like similar things where it's like look out for aoe gotcha items you know how to reroll and all that stuff and this talks about end game farming what you need to do in order to get the best like gear in the game how to increase like your skill damage traits all setup traits and all the different things that you need to do to get farmable gear the best sub equipment and it's just like one of those things that i really enjoy about this game is because you can min max gear to like the craziest degree and then here's going to be like the bits on like why you should get like certain gear how like certain gear works so for example the angel series is known for like recovery skills and doing like support sort of abilities and then the shields are like really good because a lot of characters can equip shields and shields are pretty universal like it's an item that everyone can wear like i talked about and then you have like your spears and stuff and now one of the things that i have to talk about like with the actual like gacha characters you can see here later on that you're gonna have to get dupes of them so that's why i also don't advise to focus on the character gotcha early on just focus on enjoying the story enjoy like the pve aspect so you don't have to really min max characters and one of the funniest things when i was exploring is i got goblin slayer vibes when i went to like the goblins den now when you go in here it's a dungeon right so essentially what happens is you can't escape and you have to go through the dungeon in order to beat this thing so it's gonna like warn you if you enter you confirm and you're pretty much like 
locked in here. It's like hilarious. And this floor is always changing. So you can see it's like level nine. We're going to fight this guy and we're probably going to pass out just so you can get like a realistic vision on why you would upgrade your characters, right? So we're doing like the autos things. And as you can see there, Sorrel is taking a lot of damage. We're doing diddly for damage because we don't have enough gear. Our characters aren't leveled up enough. And it's just one of those things we don't have any skills. So this is essentially like me showing you, you don't want to use your Kole whatsoever. This is like one of the things I want to show. So just go ahead and hit cancel. Hit confirm right here. You're only losing like 260 ether. It's very easy to obtain. And then you pretty much just go back and it's telling you to upgrade your gear. Now you can actually go into map right here and then you just go to the entrance of the academy and then you just go back to the academy. You hit confirm. I can't essentially play the game anymore. You just go back to explore. Let's go back to the entrance of the academy and look at that. We're all healed up and we can go grind some more the beautiful part about this game is that there's no stamina so you can play this game as long as you want you can do as many battles as you need to in order to you know like just grind out your characters and get them real strong i like that there is no stamina system and essentially you're free to do whatever you want to do it's just nice to have like a gacha game that doesn't have like those sort of things that will hold you back from progressing right it's up to you how far you want to go in the game how hard you want to push and it's a very chill game i feel like it's akin to something like another another Eden. Obviously the combat is different. Obviously the focus is different. You can, you know, focus more on gear. And what's really nice is in case like your members don't hit hard enough, you can go into party right here. You can equip some combat items and then you can equip stuff like the Uni or like this other item that will deal damage. So it's like these fun little aspects where you don't have to just focus on gear. You can also focus on crafting like actual items in order to make your party a much more well-rounded sort of team, right? It's just so simple. It's just easy. I like this PVE sort of gotcha deal and right here we're gonna fight this great ooze little dude i like how cute like some of the characters look too and the overall aesthetic the presentation it just reminds me of a chill pve gotcha that i don't really have to go ham on i don't have to focus on the meta i don't have to stress myself out in order to keep up with other players it's primarily a single player experience but you can play with other people if you want to but yeah these are my first impressions for atelier online Alchemist of Bressier. Honestly, a really fun, like just PVE gotcha, very casual RPG experience. And I recommend it to folks who just get introduced into the actual Atelier online series. So there's one more thing that I want to leave you with. Let's go ahead and go back into like the actual Academy. I have a code. So we're going to go to the entrance of the Academy and then let's go ahead and go back inside. All right, now that we're inside, you're going to hit this little icon right here, the little like graph looking thing. And then you're going to go to code. And this is the code that I want y'all to use. It's going to be in the description just to get some free goodies. So there it is. Hit OK right here and hit confirm that. And with that code, you should be granted some free stuff. These are my first impressions for Atelier Online Chill PVE Gotcha that I recommend just to sort of get familiar with the Atelier Online series and just to have a casual PVE experience. But anyways, if you've made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitter, follow me on twitter once we hit 25,000 subs we're doing a giveaway thanks so much for watching enjoy exploring the world of atelier and i will see you in the next one